So you got two options. You can put a one or you can put a yes, Lord, in the chat. Come on. Let's do it. Let me know if you can see my screen so we can move on like Maya and Silk the Shocker. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we got it. We got it. I appreciate y'all, man. That's class participation points right there. We got Camille Dean. Hey, that's a new name. I ain't seen that one before. Okay. Okay. We got you. Okay, guys. I'm happy that you are still here. You understand? You still, you could have been anywhere in the world tonight, but you chose to be here with me. <laughs> Okay, but I'm for real. I, I appreciate y'all for that, man. Like, uh, I really appreciate that. So basically, what you would do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this right here. And remember, you gotta be very specific. Now, matter of fact, I want to do this one. Well, no, 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 no. We can do this one right here. One bedroom apartments for rent in the Paul's, Florida. Watch this. This is what we're gonna do to create an article. Okay, write a. Uh, you can tell it whatever you want to. That don't mean it's going to listen to you. But write a 1,500-word 15 word, 15 word article about uh, why people should rent a one-bedroom apartment in Nepal, Florida. Then we're going to say include um, uh, information about nearby landmarks include fun things to do for single people in Nepal, Florida. So why are we doing this, guys? Come on, man. Let me know. Why are we doing this? Why are we including information about fun things to do to single people? Because it's a one-bedroom apartment. It's a one-bedroom apartment. This is what I'm talking about, okay? So then why are we including landmarks? It's good for SEO. Okay, we want to convince Google that we are near Nepal. So you need information about the area. Okay, uh, include, uh, so we got landmarks or whatever. Uh, write it, write in a humor style of writing. In, include jokes and um, modern day slang terms okay so you pretty much tell it exactly what to do okay uh oh somebody uh general nuisance said include safety rating thank you include safety uh safety rating that's a good one man hey i appreciate that you understand what i'm talking about so it says let's let's recap Write a 1,500-word article about why people should rent a one-bedroom apartment for rent in Nepal, Florida. Yeah, you're right, man, because people check the safety before they move to a place because they want to know if it's going to be a bad uh, neighborhood or whatever. Okay, uh, include information about nearby landmarks, include fun things to do for single people in Nepal, uh, write in a humor style of writing, include, how about this, include... Uh, well, since it's a single person, they don't need to know anything about the schools nearby. Uh, include, um, oh, prices of the one bedrooms as well. Boom. So we pretty much got everything we need in order to make this an original, a totally original uh <laughs> article you understand what i'm saying because most people that will use this even if they got this keyword most people that will use chat gpt i saw a couple of youtube videos talking about using chat gpt for uh real estate and all that oh you're gonna get crazy leads these dudes ain't doing it like this but you can't do it like me nope but you can't do it like me hey but you can't do it like me nope but you can't do it like me oh i think they like me you understand what i'm talking about but guess what they're not going to tell it to include information about the landmarks. They're not going to tell it to include fun things to do if you're a single person uh, or tell it what style to write it in or anything like that. Okay. So this is how you're going to create completely unique information. Andre says, uh, imagine giving such tasks to a non-AI copy. This is exactly what I'm talking about, y'all. <laughs> if you went to Fiverr, um, you, you would have to be MacGyver to pull off something like this. You understand what I'm talking about? If you hired a virtual assistant off of 
Craigslist for two or three dollars an hour. And like he said, if just getting the keywords, just getting the keywords, telling trying to give them the information, I mean the instruction to get these keywords would be difficult, let alone telling them to do all of this, man. You know how much money that'll cost you. So this is cutting all type of corners so y'all can save money and save time. So check this out. Boom. Let's ah come on. So now we're gonna have to refresh, refresh again. Seven again. All right. Ah, uh, then he said, include summary of areas, unique history. Wow. Wow. I didn't even think of that one. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, so we back over here. We'll tell it. Um, let's see. Include a unique summary of the uh, Paul's. Nepal, Florida's history. Oh my God! Boom! There you go. So now, you, <laughs> now you got the history. You got the landmarks. You got you got everything to give a person a reason to move there. So let's see what it does. Oh snappage! It went through this time because it be freezing up, y'all. Okay, are y'all still seeing my screen? Because I'm looking on a phone and it look like it it might not be showing a screen. Okay, it's showing. Okay, I don't know why it's not showing it on my. On my phone. Can y'all see the screen? Do you see what it's writing out right now? Because it's still saying. Okay, there we go. Okay. I guess y'all y'all are like behind a little bit. <laughs> okay. So as you can see what it's creating, look, are you tired of living in a shoebox with four roommates and a cat named Steve? Remember, I told it to, you know, include humor, right? It said, are you ready to upgrade to a one bedroom pad fit for someone, uh, somewhat adult humans? Uh, look no further than the beautiful city of Nepal, Florida, where the sun is always shining and the beach are always sandy and the one bedrooms apartments are always affordable. Now, of course, guys, we're not just going to leave it like this, guys, because we don't know if it stole some of this content from a site that's already indexed out there and we don't want to get any penalties from Google. So of course we are going to use the free article spinner to spin this again when it's done. Y'all understand? So of course, of course, man, we ain't slow, man. We got some people in the comments that be just talking some stuffage, y'all. Talking about some, look, listen, you ain't going to be able to rank those sites. Well, I showed y'all a couple, what was that, last week? I showed y'all one of my pages ranking for top St. Louis rappers. You understand what I'm talking about? And I did this exact method. Okay, so it says first things uh, first. Let's talk location. Nepal is home to some of the most picturesque beaches in the country. So you can finally say goodbye to that gross public beach <laughs> with the really bad parking situation. Take a stroll down Vendor Belt Beach where you can blah, blah, blah. So it's writing it how I told it to write it. You understand? And if you need it longer, because remember, it ain't going to do exactly what you tell it to. You just say continue. Boom. Or you can say make this article longer. And then also, if you just really want to make sure, if you really want to make sure that it is getting you con uh, unique content and all of that, then you tell it to rewrite this article in um, in baby language. <laughs> rewrite this in a way that a, uh, a five-year-old would understand it. Rewrite it like you're talking to a news reporter. Rewrite it to, like you're talking to one of your best friends. So it's going to include words like, hey, yo, what's up, bro? You understand? Like you can tell it to talk like that. So how is it not original content? If you can tell it, you can train it how you want it to generate the content. Ain't no other articles out there doing that because the other articles are made by regular people. Okay, so man... Woo, man. Okay, so as you can see, we got this right here. We got all of this right here. That's part of the article. And then we got this part down here as part of the article. Hold on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to a site called um, uh, Word Counter. Word Counter. Me, what I like to do is I like to have at least 2,500 uh, words, you understand? At least 2,500 words in my article. And we're going to have all different types of like, uh, you know, um, uh, all different types of like media, like images and all of that stuff too. So don't worry. It's going to be like a very unique and beautiful like article. Okay. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to take it over to word counter. Give me one second. I'm going to share my screen so you can see how many words 
Okay. Um, let me get this next part. And I don't think this is going to be enough. So I'm going to already go ahead and tell it to start writing some more. People had enough? Give me some more. Uh, make article longer. Boom. So now we're going to come back over here. Hold on. So that's only 849 words. We need more, man. We need more. So what it's doing is it's making more. Like I said, I need at least 2,500 more because when you search this keyword, you want to make sure you are outdoing them with the on-page SEO first. Now I'm getting super technical with you guys. Getting super technical with you guys, but don't worry. Like I'm going to spit it in baby lyrics. You understand what I'm saying? I want to make sure you guys understand it. But, you know, okay, we'll just say this. In order for you to be an authority, you need to have an abundance of answers to an abundance of questions. If you create an article and it only got 500 words on there, but then Google has options of other websites, they got 3,000, 10,000 words on there, then you don't really look like the authority, do you? If you only made one page on the topic on your website, you don't look like the authority, do you? No, you don't. Okay. Andre asked me, is it your own words counter? No, I didn't create that asset. <laughs> I, I don't have unlimited assets, guys. I create assets that are beneficial. It's like an umbrella for me. You understand? All of my businesses tie in together. All of my assets work in unison. It's kind of like a flywheel. You understand? I have certain tools that do lead generation for my assets. Then I have my assets that go inside my affiliate network. My affiliate network will send traffic to my other assets. So it's like a perfect, like a perfect, like, you, you know, so that's what it is. I don't just have a whole bunch of different miscellaneous, you know, tools and assets that don't have any specific person purpose. So I don't really have a purpose for, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, a word counter. So, you know, like owning a word counter, like there's no, no point for me to own a word counter. All right. So now we have, uh, so that's 1257 words. I'm gonna share my screen when we have enough. Okay. So then, then, then I'm gonna show y'all what we're going to do with this article. All right. So continue, continue. We need just a little bit more. We need a little bit more. Uh, hey, hey, Jesus, I think that's how you say, it. or J Suisse. Jay, we ways. I don't know. I don't know French, man. My daughter is trying to learn French, though. <laughs> I don't know French. Uh, General Newsom says you can also prompt it to be persuasive. Yes. Uh, he says, we can hear you. We appreciate you. You're in the jungle. <laughs> yes, I'm in the jungle slash mountains. That's that's even worse, dude. Like I got a mountain in front of my house and in the back of my house. And we we surrounded by jungle. So yes, it's 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 a, it's, it's a freaking miracle that it, they even got internet out here, right? You know what I'm saying? A lot of times when you want to live somewhere beautiful, you gotta like sacrifice, and uh, that's pretty much how it is out here. I wanted to be off the grid, pretty much. You know, get out the matrix type stuff. Okay, let's see. Dang, that's only fifteen hundred and forty four words. Okay, make it longer okay pause <laughs> pause okay what's going on um pk says <laughs> pk is watching youtube he says just type give me a word count for the article into chat gpt oh i see what he's saying <laughs> instead of going over there to the word counter i could just tell chat gpt to count the words of all of this article for me yeah, hey, hey, there you go. Look at it. See, we learned something new, man. I can learn from y'all too. Bars, okay. Uh, okay, so let's let's test out what uh, PK said, what he suggested. Let's see if it tells me how many words this is. He says, "Give me a word count for the article." Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, come on, speed it up. Chat GPT, look at me being ungrateful because it's way faster than any human would be writing this, right? Okay, so now give me a word count for this article. Boom, let's see. This article is approximately 6,400 words. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy, right? <laughs> hey, I appreciate that, PK, man. 
I appreciate that, man. I ain't giving that. I ain't giving that website no more clicks. You understand what I'm talking about? I'm being stingy with my clicks now. All right. Uh, Will Lewis said to you, "What would be the best way to make money on ChatGPT?" He must be new. Uh, well, welcome, Will Lewis. Well, Will Lewis, uh, uh, you know, direct his attention here, please. Okay, ChatGPT. The best way to make money. Using ChatGPT is to realize that ChatGPT is an assistant, a researcher. An assistant and a researcher is not going to actually do it for you, but it can go out there and get the information for you that you lack. So that is how you're going to use ChatGPT. If you want to create, look, uh, write code for a simple two-player uh, um, shooting shooter game boom okay so let's see what it comes up with so okay we'll try a different one i'm sorry but the ai language model is not able to write codes for game that's a lie because i did this one before okay let's see um write code for a simple hold on here's an example of how you m might create a two-player shooter game using python Okay, so it's going to tell me that it can't do it, and then it's going to do it anyway. It says, however, I can provide you with some guidance on how to write a simple two-player uh, shooter game uh, in specific programming language. It's important to note that creating a full game requires a deep understanding of programming concepts, uh, gaming design principles, and the chosen programming language. Okay, so here's an example. And it's still writing it. Okay, so it just told you what you need, guys. Pay attention. It just told you what you need. Programming concepts, you need game and design principles, and then chosen programming language. So we're going to ask its suggestions of those three things. Okay, so it's done right here. Okay, so let's come up here and let's see. Programming concept. What programming concept would you suggest for this game let's see what it comes up with here are some programming concepts that would be useful for creating a simple two-player shooter game so hey listen man listen this is what i'm talking about mo all you do is take all of this information you're going to take this simple code right here and then you're going to take its suggestions and you're going to give it to a developer. You don't have to make it, guys. Nobody's telling you to become a developer yourself. You take the information that ChatGPT. That's part of the reason why these developers charge so much, because they have to come up with the concepts, the idea, the language and all of that stuff. But if you can take this stuff to them, like a simple outline of it and an outline of the characters and all of that stuff, then they can just put it together. It's like putting together the puzzle pieces for them. You understand? Look at this. Sound and music, uh, sprites, collision detection, uh, event handling, gaming loops. Now we're going to take this next part right here. Okay, then we got to get back to what we were doing. Okay, game design principles. Let's ask ChatGPT what this is about. Okay, what programming, blah, 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 was did you suggest for this game? It's still writing. So we're going to say, what game design principles would you suggest for this game? <laughs> Let's see what it comes up with. Come on, baby. Here are some game de design principles. I told y'all, it'll do it all, man. It'll do it all. <laughs> and this is what you give to the developer. Where can you get a developer? It's easy. You can find the uh, developers on Upwork.com, on Craigslist, on Fiverr.com. In Facebook groups, you just tell them to send you their portfolio. And anybody that has anything similar to this, y'all just make a deal. You understand? You just make a deal. So we're getting all three of the parts, right? And then you can send all of this information, including the little example code, to the developer. And they are the artists. So you're you're giving them the 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 painting and everything. They, you're giving them the uh, the the acrylic paints, the watercolor paints, the oil paints, and stuff like that. And they already got the canvas and the idea in their head. You understand? So you're just giving them that, and they're just gonna put it together. Andre says, "Do you have a team of developers or your go-to developers?" Yes, Lord. 
Yes, I do. I got the same people that work on uh, pretty much all of my assets. Every now and then, if they don't know what to do with them or whatever, then I'll reach somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's one more part. Yeah, one more part. Then we're going to move back to our real estate stuff. Okay, the chosen program language. Okay, let's go. What programming language would you suggest for this game? Boom. And then we're going to ask it, like, what would be the best way of making all of this work? Look at this. It's giving us the programming language. Come on, man. Come on. Yes, Lord. Let's get that. Okay. Uh, Marwin Wingate said, bro, him. <laughs> I need your boot camp. And hey, he too amp. Yes, Lord. Okay. It'll be here February 20th, y'all. Um, where do I find information about it? February 20th. That's when it drops. Okay. PK says, earlier I got chat GPT to make a trivia game with a score and a target. Then I got it to turn it into a JavaScript. Then I got it to tell me how to load it in my web browser. And I don't know any code. And that's what I'm saying, y'all. That's what I'm saying. This is your assistant, your researcher, or <laughs> I mean, your business partner, pretty much. If you can't pay a person, think of how much money it would cost just to get this part done. You don't even have to like uh even go into actually putting it together like how much it would cost to put it together just even this part right here trying to figure this out some type of consultation with a developer they would charge you hundreds at least to even like put this stuff together okay uh how would you suggest that i uh put this together to make it work in a web application okay let's see creating the two-player shooter game as a web application will require a different approach compared to creating a standalone game here are some blah 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 okay so basically you're just gonna break down the steps and give everything to the developer that's what i do uh, i break down the steps and i give everything to the developer the least that they have to come up with themselves the less you have to pay them the faster the job can get done guys and that's what it's about once your assets are built out then you guys can just start filling them up and if you have instant monetization on your platform stuff like adsense stuff like affiliate uh, uh links and and things you can get paid from then you don't even have to worry about uh, uh, you know, oh, ain't nobody subscribed, uh, you know, paid for a subscription yet or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it it's so many ways to make money with this stuff. Okay. So, uh, Wingate, Marvin, Marvin Wingate, he said, hashtag build more teams. One of my goals for 2023. Yes. You have to leverage y'all. All right. Okay. So yeah, I didn't like, like threw me off with this shooter game, right? <laughs> But do y'all understand? Let's see. Uh, y'all understand how this works? Put a yes, Lord, in the comments if you understand how it will work for you guys to build your games and your apps and all of that stuff. You understand it's not going to actually do it all for you, but it will get you at least 85% there where you won't have to spend a lot of dang on money to have these assets built out for you. You can actually make stuff a reality that you got in your head with this stuff. You understand? That's that's the power in it. Like a lot of us, before these different things came out, we had these crazy ideas in our head and then we'll reach out through DMs or email to a developer and they're like, yeah, man, just to come up with a concept that's going to cost around $25,000. And you're like, what? I don't even know if people are going to buy this yet. You know what I'm saying? You can literally come up with the concept and the design and all of that stuff using chat GPT, mid journey, and a lot of these different little AIs that you can text to bring things to life. You can like type in there and it will literally bring these things to life and create little mock-ups and little demos for you. And then you just give it to the developer and say, put your little voila magician trick on this and make it happen. You understand what I'm talking about? Make it happen, Captain. Uh, Will Lewis said, what's your IG? Like I said earlier, man, I ain't really on there for real. I use it for lead generation purposes or scraping and all of that. But Profit Positioning Agency CEO. I know that's very long, right? Pause. Profit Positioning Agency CEO. That it, it, that's it. 
uh, <laughs> Andre said I wasn't a uh, no no PK said I wasn't a developer until last week when I downloaded Chat GPT. Exactly. Listen, this is going to use it to make it make you better in in bodybuilding. You know what I'm saying? They already fit, right? But they'll use performance enhancers to gain strength or, uh, uh, you know, uh, to become more vascular looking or something like that. Right. But they already had a good, strong base first. They didn't go from flubber fat to being a bodybuilder. So I'm not trying to get you guys to do that online. Online, you still need to have your good, great ideas, your good concepts. You still need to like be an, uh, uh, you know, you, you, like a creator. Like we talked about, you still need to be that. And then your chat GPT and these tools, they are your performance enhancers. They are your steroids. <laughs> That's what this stuff is for you. It's not your mama though. OK, so the mo the reason why is a lot of people, oh, chat GPT don't do nothing. It ain't powerful. It don't work. It can't do nothing. That's because they thought it was going to put a pacifier in their freaking mouth. You understand? It's not like that. It, you leverage it. Leverage within. <sighs> you got to do something, man. Like you got to do something. Right. OK. All right. So what we're going to do with this article is we're going to create a page, okay? So what was the keyword for this? One bedroom apartments in uh, Nepali. So I'm gonna copy that. I said Nepali <laughs> as a cactus, okay? Andre said, I have a great idea that can generate huge piles of money, but need developers and cash to do it and someone like-minded to work with. I suck at doing something alone. Pause. Okay, well, that's what the group is for, y'all. Y'all can come together, pause, and y'all can make partnerships, do joint ventures, uh, you know, exchange talents and skills. Like, you know, I didn't create that group for me. I created that group for like-minded people that are on this mission of building assets together to, to, to communicate with each other. I noticed that a lot of people don't even get comments on their posts that they put in there if it ain't me, you know, and sometimes I don't even get no dang on coming. Like, hold on. Don't just look at the post and then continue strolling to watch some stupid chick twerking on Facebook or something. I created that community so we can get stuff done. OK, so if you see somebody posting something, be supportive, y'all, and actually communicate, because these are the same people that can be your customers, clients, partners, and you can grow together in some Great stuff can come from this if we're not all antisocial with each other. You understand what I'm talking about? It's a lonely road being an entrepreneur. This is why a lot of people go to summits and, and, and masterminds and stuff, not just because they want to learn something. Some people don't even be trying to go to learn. They be going because they just want to be around other people like them. So that's what these groups and stuff is for. And you become greater when you're surrounded with other people on the same mission with you. The Bible says every beast loveth his like. You understand what I'm saying? Like you have to be around people that are like you in order to elevate. All right. Um, all right. So let's go over here to this browser right here. We're going to start creating the page for this. And I'm still like moving around like you guys can see me and stuff. I forgot the camera, you know, <laughs> I'm moving around like y'all can see me. That's crazy. OK, so now we are in the back office of one of my most powerful sites that has extremely high domain ranking. And I use this one because like, dude, like it got so much power that I leverage it to rank my other assets. All right. So if I have a new asset, I'll start building content out on this domain first before I even start building, uh, um, you know, stuff for the other sites on the actual domains of those. That way I can link to them. Okay. Boom. If you guys know anything about SEO, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. I think I worked up a freaking appetite, which is craziness. I'm doing OMAD right now, y'all. I started my uh, carnivore carnivore diet back, and uh, I'm on OMAD right now, um, which is one meal a day. That's what that stands for. Uh, okay, so what I need to ask ChatGPT is some good keywords for this one specifically. Okay, give me some keywords. Let's see. 
Uh, give me more keywords related to boom. All right. So that I can put that. Come on. Stop, chat GPT. Why are you trying to annoy me, man? Refresh. Refresh. Okay. So now let's see what it's going to do. What it's going to be. Buster Rhymes, Janet Jackson. Okay. <clears throat> so is it going to give us more keywords? Okay, so it's giving us some more keywords related to that specific keyword. And since I am putting it in my website, I need it to be separated by commas. As you can see, look at all these long tail keywords. What I tell you, Chat GPT can do, baby. It says, sorry, can't complete the response. I think it's because I uh, bothered it. Let's see, is it gonna? Come on, come on, come on. I take good care of you. Come on. Mm. I refresh it again. Refresh it. Refresh it. I don't need Febreze to be freshes. Okay, there we go. Long term rental, one bedroom, blah, blah, blah. With the, look at this with the ocean view. Look at these long tail keywords near beaches, near downtown, near shopping and dining. Come on, y'all. This is killer. You ain't, it will take you hours on Google. Or some type of paid tool to find these keywords. Okay, let's see if there's any more. We'll hit continue. Okay, let's see. One bedroom in the pod with amenities such as pool and gym. Look at this, man. Come up with crazy keywords that ain't nobody else talking about in the pause. So it's like a pretty much a guarantee that we'll rank for these. And I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, um, not a trick, but I don't know if you guys ever heard. What's his name? I haven't been on this channel in a long time. His name is Doug. I'm trying to give him some credit, but his name is Doug. Um, and he came up with something called the keyword golden ratio. All right. <clears throat> and, um, uh, basically with the keyword golden ratio is a way to gauge, um, how much competition a, a keyword has, and how long it would take for you to rank in that area. I know it's like, what? That sounds like some witchcraft, right? Okay, so we got some keywords and I'm gonna put the keywords, right? Oh, dang, I didn't tell it to separate it with commas. Hold on, you gotta separate, uh, separate all the above keywords with commas. Let's see if it does that. Hopefully it don't get the stuff from all the way at the top. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's getting it. It's getting it. So, cause I got to paste this in, uh, to Weebly. Okay. You guys can't even see my chat GPT. Let me see. So you can see what it's doing. And so as you can see, look at all, look at all these keywords, man, these delicious, lovely keywords. We can get some traffic from, look at that. Hey, you see, that's why you got to stay honest, right? Look, we got DZ. He already knew. <laughs> Doug Cunnington. There you go. See, if I had a lied and tried to take credit for that, I would have been exposed right there. I told you guys I'm honest, right? Yeah, his name is Doug Cunnington. That dude, yo, he's he's good with it. White, uh, white Hat SEO, right? So if you guys are trying to get some traffic to your site using SEO, that's another good channel to check out as well. Pay it forward, baby. Yes, his name is Doug Cunnington. Okay, uh, let's see. So now we're gonna copy all. Can y'all see my screen? Okay, yeah, y'all can see my screen now. Ask it the most popular hashtags for this. Yeah, I'll do that uh, later. But right now we need this for SEO. If we when we do our YouTube or our TikTok or something like that, we'll get the hashtags. Hashtags are starting to show up in Google as well. So you know. But a lot of people don't search by hashtag on Google yet. So if you want to start positioning yourself by hashtags on Google, then you can. But for now, I'm going to just take this just for this demonstration. We go back over to the Weebly and I'm going to present again. Okay. All right. So I'm going to fly past through this, guys, because, you know, I, I'm, I'm holding y'all up. I got y'all time and stuff. Uh, you know, I ain't going to explain this footer code and all of that stuff, but that's just so your analytics can show up in a Google search console and you can, you know, gauge how much traffic you're getting and, and all of that extra stuff, blah, blah, blah. And I come in and fill this stuff in later. So you guys are going to be able to follow along with this journey 
of SEO and getting some traffic to the properties that rentals site and getting realtors to sign up and put listings on there and get leads on there. So you guys be able to see all of that. Uh, General Nuisance says, yes, I can see the screen. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to save this. Done. Okay, let me save it, baby. Let's save it. <clears throat> okay, so then we'll just name it what it is. Uh, one bedroom apartments for rent. Let's we'll go ahead and na name it that. Uh, details. I would say the scoop or the plug. <laughs> The plug. Boom. One bedroom apartments for rent in the pause. Okay. So we'll change the background. I'll say image. No, no, no. Yeah, we'll put image. Replace. We'll just get. Nope, it ain't let me search that. So we don't have. Uh, okay, so Nepal is by the beach, right? Let's see. But I don't like none of that, though. Like, none of that stuff don't fit. I was just trying to find something by the water, like a house by the water or something like that. I don't feel like doing all that extra crap. So we just put something. Mm, give me something. Give me something, man. Uh, that don't look like it'll have anything to do with that. All this and they ain't got no dang on, no dang on houses up in here. All right. Well, just for this example, we'll just put this. Boom. All right. We'll save that. I'll just come back through here and fix that up. Turn this white. All right, and you have your VA normally do this. As of now, I don't really know a dang on web uh, AI website builder that'll just do all of this for you. It might be one out there, but I haven't done no research on that one. You know, so for now, I would have a VA, an actual human, do this part. So then we'll just take the keyword again. Boom, and we'll change the color to black, fade to black on the Jay-Z stack. You already know. Okay, then we get some text. So now, well, I ain't even go over there and reword the stuff yet. Mm. Man, this game thing is in my way, y'all. Okay, so let's go up. Okay, so now we're going to take this article right here, and we're going to put it in a free article spinner. But if it changes it too much, uh, we, we, you know, because how we got it written, it should bypass the, the detectors and everything. Google ain't stupid, y'all, but how we got it is very conversational. So they'll let it pass. You understand uh, how we got it? You know, a lot of people are just say, hey, write me an article. And then it's going to come with this, like these big words and genius words and like it's not going to be very conversational and of course it's going to be detected and stuff but you know what i'm saying when you do it how we did it you made it very specific and everything then now google you know pretty much let it go because they see you put some type of work into it so now we're going to the free article spinner mm, excuse me boom so what phrases do we want it to leave alone we're going to put the ignore words in here. We need to keep Nepalese. Need to keep Florida. Need to keep FL. What other words? Um, we'll keep safety. We'll keep neighborhood. We'll keep apartment. We'll keep uh, bed room. Let's see. What other, what other ones? Okay, we got neighborhood. We got, um, okay, we'll keep location. Oops, spelled that wrong. Location. Wow. Okay, so now we pretty much got uh, the main words that we don't want it to spin and change the words. Basically, when, when, the art, when it spins an article, it just, uh, you know, gives you alternative words for other words <laughs> so that you don't get hit for duplicate content. But if it makes it sound like not like human, then you definitely want to turn it back. OK, so we got basic phrase. We clicked on that right there. So now it says instead of it saying 
are you tired of living? It says, is it, is it safe to say that you are burnt out on living in a shoebox with four uh, flatmates? <laughs> what is this? Uh, the UK or something? And a feline named Steve. Okay. So I probably shouldn't have did that one. So we're going to, let me see. We're going to take this out. A feline. So we're going to keep, <laughs> we're going to keep roommates and we're going to keep cat because I don't want to say a feline. Now it's starting to be something that Google like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. All right. So now we're going to respin it now. What's up, Gary? What's on? What's going on? All right. So now it's spun, it's spun it again. It said, could it be said that you are worn out on living in a shoebox with four roommates and a cat named Steve? Is it true that you are prepared to move up to a one bedroom cushion? Uh, one bedroom cushion. Ah, <laughs> so this is what I'm saying. You got, you still got to overlook it a little bit, guys, so you can make sure it makes sense. So it says a one bedroom cushion fit, uh, fit for a fairly grown up. So when it says cushion, it's trying to, it's talking about this word pad right here. So I'll, <laughs> now I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of that word again. <laughs> and do it over so you still got a little work guys still got a little work but it's still better than coming up with all of this yourself so what else man we're gonna put beaches in here too because i ain't got time for all that you understand let's see uh bedroom safe we got um let's see check out singles live music we'll, we'll keep live music too just in case, I don't know. We'll say um, cottages and mansions. Hmm. Make sure we got the word beach in there too. Okay. All right. So that should be good. Let's try it one more time. All right. So boom. All right. So it's starting to look good now. There we go. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. Boom. So basically, we'll just take that back over here to Weebly and we'll paste that in. We'll get our images and all of that stuff last. OK, boom. So I plug that in right there. I don't know why it's doing that, but we'll change the color manually. Boom. All right, so that's basically what you're going to do with all of the article and everything. Now, that's super boring. I ain't going to keep y'all for that type of stuff. So all of you guys need to inbox me or email me so I can send you the perfect SEO game plan. The perfect SEO game plan is like 29 to 31 steps that you would do for all of your assets on Google for them to rank. You'll be able to beat anybody, and you don't even need money for most of the steps that you're going to be doing okay usually by the time i get to like step 12 or 13 i'm already number one on google okay so i will send that to you guys and i won't charge you all right all i ask is that you guys be creative don't steal each other's work don't steal each other's ideas don't become competition for each other because it's so many different industries and niches that you can go out and get money from guys okay um uh matt says Throwing nightlife is a good for one is good for a one bedroom. Yeah. And General Newsom says, well, you ask for humor and slang. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Classy, cushiony one bedroom. Uh Gary says, I can hardly wait for the replay. This is so much better than working for a living. Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, we still have to put in some work, but we want to do smart work and we want to leverage you know, uh, other assets to build our own assets and leverage other manpower like virtual assistants as well. You understand? Like so that we can free up our time and everything, guys. Um, Gary said, when will you do that? Uh, yeah, it's real. When will I do the, what the replay? The replay is automatic. Like once I stop this, once I stop streaming, it's going to automatically, uh, you know, like save to YouTube. And you'll be able to go back and watch it from the beginning. But I strongly suggest you watch the replay in the morning because then I'll be able to go in and edit it because it's, go it's, a, it's so many parts where it was cutting out earlier. I don't want you guys to have to go through that in order to watch it. Uh, Big Bread said, hold on, I'm interested. <laughs> where do I go to learn more? Learn more of which? Uh, learn more of what? We talked about a whole bunch of stuff on here. 
Okay. Uh, right now, I don't have anything for sale. Like, you know, if you're asking that, like, I don't, the boot camp does not start until February 20th. Uh, uh, that's when you guys will be able to start, um, you know, enrolling for the boot camp and the actual live class will start on the first. Okay. So you'll be able to start paying for the boot camp March, uh, February 20th and we'll actually start going live on the first. And we're going to have some of the developers in there. Some of the developers that are actually building out these assets, we're going to have some of you guys in there that are building it. If you guys start being successful by that time, we're going to feature some of you guys so that you guys can, you know, teach others and get some sales and, and all of that stuff. I like to exalt you guys when you guys are doing good. Uh, also, on top of that, we're going to uh, have interviews with people that are actually building assets. They have apps and stuff on Google Play Store. They have books and ebooks and courses on some of these major platforms and they're making a lot of money. So you'll be able to see people that are actually in there. The boot camp is 2,500 guys. Okay. The course itself is only 2K. So I strongly suggest you get the boot camp, but of course you're going to think I'm going to say that because it's me, right? But the reason why I say that is because being there live, you'll be able to actually ask questions and get them answered live with the developers, get them answered live while I'm interviewing uh, people that have these assets out there making money with these assets. I'm going to reveal some of my other assets that I can't show you publicly out here as well. So it's going to be extremely powerful for anybody that are building assets or doing using AI or any type of form of leverage to create platforms or doing anything like that. Yes, 2500 February 20th. Listen, I strongly suggest you put a, put aside your club clothing, <laughs> your fast food, uh, fast food purchases, uh, your Netflix bill, all of that extra stuff, man. Just, hey, you can always get back to that. I would I would if I was you guys, because I, I really wish this stuff was around. I'm from the era and I'm not that old. I'm only 36. I'm from the era when the gurus hid in the shadows before social media, before they got before they got praised for sharing uh, value with people and building their accounts and social media accounts. Back when everybody thought make money online was a scam. I'm from that era. So it was super difficult for me to figure this stuff. I had to figure this stuff out. Yeah, I, I had to put this stuff together. You understand what I'm talking about? So like I, I, you guys don't. Now people are out of the shadows. Now people are happy to be gurus and happy to be praised and happy to run masterminds and, and show you exactly what they're doing in their businesses. So this is the time where you hop on this, y'all. This is the time where you get on. So Gary says that that is part of the fun. Watching the buffer and freeze. You are real and not published. <laughs> polished. <laughs> hey, I appreciate that, bro. Uh, general nuisance. I'm hoping that you are a woman, right? I can't really see the icon. It looked like a woman. She said, I think it's a she. It says, you need a payment plan, honey. Ah, oh, that's why I told you guys, you understand? If you can just get the course or whatever, because everything that we do inside the boot camp, it will be in the it will be like recorded and replay, and it will be uploaded to the course. The only difference is you won't be there live. You see what I'm saying? So, like, if if you, <laughs> Gary says, borrow from grandma. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. If y'all need a car, you get that somehow. If you need anything else, we. I'm from the hood. Listen, I know. Listen, I can't. Listen, I didn't pawned my freaking wedding ring a few times. Don't don't go there with me. I didn't use my last paycheck to do things and didn't even get nothing out of the dang on courses. Back in the day when you couldn't even like get an email some uh, support, like a support email to reach out. Like you literally had to cross your fingers and purchase something from one of these uh, these course dudes and you couldn't get in contact with them. I was doing it back then, y'all. You understand what I'm saying? So <laughs> listen, y'all can make it happen. I, I know you can. Like, listen. It, it ain't for everybody, man. And I don't want you to put yourself in a bad situation. All I'm saying is you be honest. You understand what I'm saying? Because like I bought a, a lot of things easily without even thinking about it, like stuff that wasn't even that good for me. But then for some reason, when it comes to stuff that's good for us, we got to like, yeah, I don't know. Like, is this going to be a gift? Am I going to get a return from this? Do you get a return from fast food? 
I mean, except for your gut, right? You know what I'm saying? Do we get a return on Black Friday when we go down there and buy the biggest TV in Walmart or when we get our income tax checks and we get some new rims? Do we get a return from that? No, we don't. But when it's time to actually make some money or make some for ourselves, we be like, mm, penny pension. And I don't really know. Should I? Do, should I? Do, how do I know this is real? How do I? Listen, listen. It's, it's not for everybody. It's going to be people that are made to just be consumers. And I'm just praying that it's 41 people on here. And at least majority of y'all ain't just made to be consumers. But the hard truth is a lot of y'all, when February 20th come, you're going to make a reason why you can't do it. You're going to sit on here up until then and get all the free stuff you can get. And I don't mind. I'll give you as much. The Bible says I'm supposed to give knowledge liberally. I will tell you everything you want to know. Right. But when February 20th come, it will be a brand new Facebook created. It, the old one will still be free, but the new one will be for the people that are inside the boot camp. And it's going to be some it's going to be some creators creating in that boot camp and they're going to be having success. And I just don't want people to miss out because income taxes came and they always wanted these uh, uh, these shoes or income taxes came. And they they told their friend they was going to let them borrow this so they can go out of town with some some dude that ain't even a man. Or some bull crap like that. I'm making up real life scenarios, y'all. And then when you're out of money, that's when you get back on YouTube and be saying, you know what? I'm going to get my stuff together. New Year's resolution. No, no. Do your thing, y'all. Do your thing. I'm just praying that for y'all. Listen, I'm doing it, man. And the people that are going to be inside the boot camp, they're doing it. This is not no scarcity tactic. I could care less. You understand? I'm here for who wants to make a move. I'm not here for everybody. Just like God, you know, when your house shot came here, he said, my sheep will hear my voice. He wasn't here to save everybody. He understood that everybody wasn't going to turn from their sin. It's going to be people that choose the world over the kingdom. So I understand that there's people on here right now that enjoy this free content, that enjoy commenting in the comments and everything and enjoy saying, yes, Lord, with me. But when February 20th come, they ain't going to be in there with me. And when we do the mastermind later on this year and meet up in person in Panama, they ain't going to be able to afford it because they didn't get in the boot camp. If you can't afford the boot camp, you understand, then you definitely ain't going to be able to afford when we're in person and we're doing joint ventures together and working on real crazy stuff in person. You understand? So, it's, it, you know, I'll leave it up to y'all. But I, I'm not one of those beggars. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm one of those people that put the stuff out there. And if you think it can help you, I'll make you an offer. You take it. Awesome. If you don't, then I, I still pray for your success. Every time I get on a call with a client or somebody I'm trying to close a deal, I pray with them first. I pray for their continued success, even if they don't work with me. I'm not one of them people that's going to be like, oh, so you don't want to work? I forget you then. No, that ain't me. Yeah. So it's people that's asking for discounts and stuff, but you got to understand from now all the way up to February 20th and beyond that, I'm still going to be on her. Everything I'm doing right now is free. And I've been showing you guys everything for free. Haven't asked you to, like, even the people that uh, signed up for Builder Raw, that was up to you. Everything I recommend to y'all is, is, is optional, guys. I just want you guys to be successful because there's so many channels out here that are just talking in theory and not showing you how to do it, y'all. You understand? So it's, it's up to y'all, y'all. I, I want to see y'all as, as many of y'all in there as possible, you know, but hey, you know, some of y'all going to be like, ah, he's just saying that because he want to make a lot of sales. I'm not stupid. You need money in this world. Of course, I want to make sales. I would be a liar. Do you want me to lie? No. Who the hell? Who, who want to create something and don't get uh, paid for it? So, yes, I do want money. Yes. But I also even even better is to assist you in creating something that could possibly make history. Or if it don't make history, it can still change the life uh, 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 in your family, change your, the, the, you know, the history in your family. You know what I'm saying? Create some assets that you can sign over to your kids and your will or some stuff like that. Things like that. Because right now, all we're left with is job applications. All your parents left you was job applications and all my parents left me was freaking job applications and stupid dreams of college.
So that is my main mission for you to be able to be on your deathbed and be cool as heck because you know your kids ain't never got to fill out and got a touch of Popeye's, McDonald's, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, warehouse job ever in a damn life. Excuse my language. That's my goal. That's why on Anti-Job -Job, Anti -Job University, we teach you entrepreneurship through asset ownership. So that you can one day be rich enough to own a ship instead of being so broke you can only afford a ticket, own a ship. I don't, I don't just say that for nothing, guys. General Newsom said, look like it's time to get my hustle on. Listen, listen, just do your thing. Listen, one of the things I used to do is I pay attention. I talked to y'all on one of the classes. Uh, I don't know if it was on a, a, a Bible study class or whatever. Matter of fact, set y'all alarms for the Sabbath day, 11 a.m. Eastern. We're going to go over some more bi uh, business biblical principles from the Bible. OK, so make sure you guys don't miss that. It's 45 people on here right now. I strongly suggest y'all show up. That's when you really get the understanding of how to take your businesses and your assets to the next level. When we go through these scriptures in the Bible, you understand how to apply them to real life and you uh, are different. You stand out. You're unique in your market and nobody can touch you with what you're selling. OK, so make sure you guys set your alarms for 11 a.m. Eastern on Saturday, which is the Sabbath day. OK, but what I was going to say, guys, what I was about to say was, um, um, we talked about the irresistible offer. I pay attention. So remember, um, for this one, I can't do the name your price tool like like uh, progressive insurance. I do use that for some products and everything. But for this, since I'm paying people to be there, like the actual developers and actual uh, asset owners are going to actually be giving their time there, guys. I, I can't really... It's kind of hard for me. Then I got to myself record the dang on course. And it's not going to be an AI generated course. It's actually going to be me uh, in the course and everything like that, guys. So it's kind of hard. You got to understand is like, how can I discount this? Like, would you even want me? Would you respect me if I discounted this? Would you? Would you believe it can actually help you? I know you want to say that because you don't want to pay that much. But actually, like think in your head. Would you believe any of this stuff would work if I discounted it? No, you would not. You wouldn't. Like, you wouldn't feel like it's exclusive. You'll feel like anybody can get this information. Oh, I can just get this stuff from YouTube. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, I heard it all before. Like Sunshine Anderson. Bars. Okay? Uh, <laughs> okay, so General uh, Nuisance says... Um, Hey, Gary says, you can do it. You can do it. Make big bread. Yes, Lord. Start selling some stuff. You understand? Like, you guys don't have to wait to be entrepreneurs or, or sales people for the, uh, for the boot camp. That's why I do videos every day. I still give you guys ideas and everything to make money now. Um, General Nuisance says, oh, no, I'm not asking for a discount. What you've already provided for free is already worth more, uh, way more than what you're asking. I appreciate it. And I ain't calling nobody specific out. You know, I don't want you to think that, guys. I, I'm saying because I'm saying all of this because um, a lot of this held me back personally. Like I, I've been through it. I had the same a lot of these same thoughts and things that I thought were obstacles in my life as well, where I was like, I wanted to do something. But huh, this is coming up. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, you know, maybe if this was a thousand dollars less. I would do it. I've, I've been there. So that's why I'm saying that. I'm not saying it because I'm trying to call nobody out. I love y'all. All right. So I ain't trying to like call nobody out. OK, I just I'm calling out the mindset because we have to change it right now. Money. The scripture says money is a defense and money answered all things. That's what the scripture says. It literally says that. So this is why I want y'all to get it. I don't care about money itself. I care about the fact that you can leverage it to get the type of things in life that you want. You can use it to get in places that you wouldn't normally have access to. So this is what I, why I'm telling y'all to do whatever you can do. Okay, do whatever you can do. All right. Um, and uh, before I was, I lost track of my thinking. Uh, what I used to do was I ran these promotions and I learned it from. T-Mobile. You guys need to pay attention to things that work in other industries, things that change the face of, of uh, companies in other industries. Okay. When T-Mobile was losing to Sprint, 
T-Mobile came out with something called the family plan. So instead of T-Mobile, because T-Mobile was expensive at first, but instead of them losing their customers or having to lower their prices, they just allow more people to get on the same plan so that they can keep the same price. It was freaking genius. So with that being said, guess what? Family plan, 2,500. So now it's not just you. You could bring one of your cousins that's into business. You could bring your sister that's into business. You can bring your son that's into business. Put them on the family plan. So it's still 2,500. I still get the 2,500. But guess what? Now it's even more valuable because you can change multiple people's lives with one freaking membership. Oh, snap. Don't I make it work? Let's do it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Matt says you're going to do a community project asset build during the boot camp. Yes, we're going to work on stuff together. Not only are you going to build your solo or have your, you're not, let me, re let me rephrase that. You're not building your assets. Remember, it's all about leverage. You're going to have your assets built and we're going to be filling those assets during the boot camp. We're going to be monetizing those assets. So you're going to have five to seven different assets by the time the end of the eight week boot camp. They're going to all be monetized. All of you guys are going to have monetized assets. Oh, my God. I wish this was around. Oh, my. And sometimes I'll be like, dang, man, like, can I go back in time? Was it anybody like was I really paying attention because I was real deep in SEO, but I it wasn't. Re I remember buying something called Google Sniper. It was a course called Google Sniper, but you couldn't even get in contact with the dude. You know what I'm saying? So it's I don't remember it being nothing like this. You understand? Like the stuff was super black hat and underground. You had to know people like Frank Kern and, 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 and stuff like that to be able to like really find the people that was really doing stuff. Other than that, you was going to run into like scams. <laughs> All right. Trust me, I didn't spend a lot of money on scams, though, but I'm a, a optimist. So I've always learned how to take something good out of even the bad, even the scams. I'm like, OK, well, they were still able to persuade me to purchase this. So how did they do their copy? You understand? Like, how did they write their copy that was convincing enough to get me to make a purchase? So I would still take something good. Nothing was ever without profit for me. And I want you all to think like that. OK. Gary says, I really do suggest watching more. Uh, it expanded my mind in the first five days from small thinking to bigger thinking, mind expansion. And that's the main thing that I like to focus on. Back in the day, I used to think like, dude, hey, 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 I just want the tips and tricks and the strategies and all of that stuff. Dude, I don't care about no mindset stuff. But guess what? You'll make a little bit of money with the tips and tricks and stuff. But when that trend is over, your mindset your mindset is what keeps you afloat. Your mindset is what gets you to persevere through, through the hard times and the down times in business. Your mindset is what gets you to get to the next level. Your mindset is what helps you to not be uh, content with uh, mediocre success and all of this extra stuff. So yes, now I appreciate the mindset stuff because I, rem I, I, I recognize it was my mindset that was holding me back. But these can't hold me back. These can't hold me back. I ain't gonna say the n-word. All right. <laughs> Lewis said, what's my email? I, I got a million of them, but you can, uh, I mean, here, I'll just put this one in here. And uh, job university one. Oh, snap it. There go the email, baby. It's in there right there. Okay. Andre said, I was never rich enough to afford a ticket ownership. <laughs> Hey, why y'all playing, man? Look, why y'all playing? He said, but I got money for the boot camp. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, bro. All right, so it's going to be some people in there. It's going to be some people that can't get in there. And, and guess what? It's just like, a, you know, them schools where they have cycles and stuff. So it's going to be an eight-week boot camp. Then we're going to be off for a couple months. And then we'll run the eight-week boot camp again. So uh, if, if you don't get the first boot camp, then, I mean, you just got to wait you know, <laughs> for later in the year, I guess, but just do what you can do what you can do. And then I just threw out there guys that you can do the family plan. So if you email me or the time comes and you say, look, can I do the family plan? I got somebody that's willing uh, to go have with me. You know what I'm saying? If they can get in too, boom, that's two for the price of one or split it three ways. And you got three, whatever, it does not matter, but it has to be the 2,500, right? 
All right. So General Newsom says people have been subconsciously pre-programmed to believe you get what you pay for. So you're right. I know. Right. Uh, Gary says it is all great products and can join for free and make money now. Yes. There's a lot of things out there you can make money for with uh, for free right now. One of the business models I've been teaching on this channel for years is drop servicing. At the beginning of the scamdemic, yes, I said it. Hey, put it in the chat right now. Scamdemic, 2020 scamdemic at the beginning of the the scamdemic. <laughs> Listen, I dropped a course called and course slash mastermind called the Godfather of Drop Servicing. And drop servicing is one of the greatest business models of all time. On your platforms, it will be one of the ways that you are monetizing. So I don't like I don't change. It's still one of the greatest freaking business models out there. So you're gonna learn drop servicing right now. You can do drop servicing right now. You can literally. How about this? Watch this. <clears throat> Go to Google Trends. Type in uh, moving companies. And it's going to tell you which cities are getting the most Google searches for moving companies. Then you can get a free Google coupon, a free Google ad coupon. And you can go put up a Google ad for moving services in those particular cities. And you forward the calls to a tracking number. When those calls come in, you send them an invoice. OK, so you quote them for 100 to 200 bucks more than what your partner would. So basically, you're going to make partnerships with moving companies in these areas. These companies are going to fulfill the service. So you call them, hey, look, hey, I got some requests for moves in the city. I need you guys to be on call when I uh, call you. I'm going to send you the money and you guys go and pick, uh, you know, go to the address and do the work, blah, blah, blah. Boom. So you're basically putting up an ad. When a person calls you, yeah, I need to move from this area to this area. How much will it be? You give them a quote. You send them the invoice through Zelle through Cash App, through PayPal, or whatever you want to do. You, correct, you collect the payment. Boom. It's 500 bucks. You keep 200 bucks and you give the 300 bucks to the moving company and they're going to go out and do the freaking work and boom, you move on. When the phone ring again, you do the exact same thing. You collect your partners in those cities. They're going to do the moving. You see what I'm saying? So you can go out and start. I just gave you all that for free. That's super easy. That's so uh, drop service and it's super easy. I taught drop servicing with exotic car rentals, private jet uh, charter, all type of stuff. OK, so you can if you don't have no money right now, you can go out and drop service. And I told you, you can get free Google ads. Just, you know, every time you create a new Gmail account, you get a free Google ad coupon. Y'all understand? So what y'all thinking, man? Like what? What is on your mind? Uh, General Nusa said, yes, you you do make it work. <laughs> Appreciate it. Jimmy said five plus monetized assets. Say less. I'm there. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all. It's not like we just going to get there and just be talking. <laughs> the stuff that y'all, I mean, as you guys can see, I show you as I build my, my assets. I practice what I preach. It ain't like I just get on here and talk to y'all. I, I show you sites and things that you can actually go and like make profiles on. And that matter of fact, thanks for reminding me because the platform is ready. So we're going to migrate over from fa uh, from net uh, Netflix. <laughs> we're going to migrate from Facebook over to my social network. Okay. All right. So let me share my screen with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and save this real quick. So you guys can go ahead over here and uh, make your free, free account. Okay. This is uh, our little secret social network right here. This is networks right here. All right. This is my social media uh, platform for now is undercover is just us. I haven't went public with it yet. OK, so you can create your own platform. Ah, hold on. All right. I mean, not, damn, I got the ads on there and everything. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Let me log out so y'all can see basically. So you basically you're just going to create your own, uh, you know, password and everything like that. So it's networks helping entrepreneurs build their networks to increase their net worth by using networks bars. As you notice, man, I like the wordplay game. You understand? I used to I used to spit these bars to make your head shake. Pop chicks into the bed break. Now I'm just playing. OK. <laughs>
<laughs> That's some drag on from back in the day. Y'all know. Uh, but yeah, you create your little, you know, your little profile on here. We're going to have a private group in there. So all of you guys that's in the Facebook group, you guys can migrate over here to networks. This is where we can do a lot of secret stuff just in case Facebook ever to uh, ever was to ban our, um, you know, accounts on Facebook or our group or something like that. We'll be over here on networks and it's free. So you just create your account over there. And that's where we're going to be meeting up at, uh, especially during the the boot camp. Okay. So you definitely, especially if you plan on being in a boot camp, you're going to want to be over here on networks and it's going to come with a lot of different free courses and, and things like that for people to sign up to networks. But anyway, back to what we were talking about, guys. Um, <laughs> ask is the boot camp all day? Yes. It's going to be all day. Okay. So it's eight weeks. Uh, we're live two days a week. Because I still got to do stuff over on, on my other platforms. I still got business meetings and clients and I got a life. I got kids and a wife. Bars again. You understand? So uh, two days a week, we're going to be live all day. So, yes, 2500 Dude, like, listen, I charge way more than that just to get on, like, consultations and stuff for certain. Like, when I do, uh, when I do the Monopoly, if y'all ever been over here. Okay, so networks, y'all seen that networks.com. I'll put the link in, in the chat if you guys want to go over there and create a profile, uh, open it up in another browser or something like that. But when I get on the consultations with this, this is how I prove whether or not a person is serious, if they really got money. You understand? Let me show you guys uh, some of my agency offers. I'm excited, man, because uh, I've saw Dave. Okay. So this is the book. This is the affiliate army course for a person that want to create their own army of affiliates. Uh, if the, if you wanted to uh, us to do it for you, it'd be five k. Then we got the the famous exclusive market monopoly, and it is forty seven k if I can do it virtually, and then it's ninety seven k if you want to fly me out and I got to train your team and all of that extra stuff. So for these two right here, I don't even get on a consultation call <laughs> without somebody forwarding or paying thousands of dollars for the consultation. Why? You ain't going to get on a call with me. Get us all hype up as a lead. You know, hey, I'm interested in the market monopoly. Get us all hyped up and you just get on there and just window shop over the phone. No. No, 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 no. For these mugs, you got to pay thousands of dollars to even get on the phone with me because I need to know for sure, are we going to do this? So if a person can pay a few thousand dollars for a consultation, then they probably don't trip too much about investing in their business. So this is why I tell you guys create offers like that too, because even if you got one of these a year, it's life changing. If you got a $97,000 sale, that's like life changing for most of y'all, right? For most of us, right? Even if you just got one, an industry leader, like just one dealership out of all of the car dealerships to pay for something like this, $97,000. Boom, that just changed your life. It can make up for all the months you was broke during the year and all of that stuff, just that one sale. So you got to have something like this. Don't content, continue to just sell stuff like this, like low tickets. Well, actually, this is awesome because it's a book and I'm still charging 197 for it. So technically, that's high ticket and perspective of books. But, you know, what I'm saying you want your stuff high enough to where you feel like it's worth your time because you got families, you got kids and all of that. So me doing uh, the boot camp for just twenty five hundred one freaking time. And I'm not taking any percentages of any of you guys' assets. Usually when I do, I, I like to plug myself into everything. That's pure leverage. I'm a, like almost obsessed with leverage. So like the normal normal me would be like, okay, 2,500 one time, plus I want like a percentage of any assets that I have to help you build or build for you. Or if I do it for you or something like that, I get a cut for at least five years on some Shark Tank type stuff, right? <laughs> But not this time. I just want you guys to walk away with monetized assets. I want you to walk away with things that you own. It got your name on it. It don't have to be bigger than Facebook, bigger than YouTube, but it got your name on it. Your kids can look at you with pride and be like, listen, my dad and my mom left something to me. You understand what I'm talking about? 
That's what I want for y'all. That's what my kids are going to see. My kids ain't going to never fill out no job application. All right. I whoop their butt if I ever seen them considering it. All right. Um, so we got DZ. He said, right. Uh, Gary says that's around 358 bucks per asset. Hey, if you do the math, that's where it's at. But the asset is not even really the big deal. Listen, you can clone a lot of these assets for cheap. What the power is, is the plan behind it. The strategy, I'm going to help you monetize these things. I'm going to help you fill them with users. I'm going to help you get subscription payments from them. I'm going to help you drop service on these platforms. I'm going to help you uh, joint venture with other people in the same industry, using them as collaborators instead of competition so that you can grow and dominate your market. You understand what I'm talking about? That's the power in this. It's not just even just the assets themselves, because a lot of you guys can just get these assets on your own. Right. Right. So like we're being honest. Right. But I want to help you guys finally stop the search. Finally stop the like, OK, I wonder if this is going to be the thing that ch helps change my life. I wonder if this is going to be the thing that is this is, is this one going to be it? Because I went to this real estate seminar and then I went to this this uh, Internet marketing seminar. And, and then I thought those things were it. You know, I'm saying I bought this course. I thought those things were it. Listen. I don't know, guys. OK, Uh <laughs> It's 739. Um, I kind of worked up a dang on appetite, but I think I'm going to continue my fast until tomorrow because, like I said, I'm trying to do the OMAD game, get my OMAD on. That's one meal a day, if you know anything about that. Uh, so I ate my my meal around, uh, what was that, around 1030 this morning or something like that. Um, and I'm not going to eat again until like 1030 tomorrow, Laura's will, if I can restrain myself and be disciplined. So the whole thing about carnivore, uh, the carnivore diet. So DZ say he created an account on networks. All right, there you go. All y'all can create an account on there. You know what I'm saying? It'll be live and up and running when the boot camp start. You can go there throughout the days. I'll probably post some stuff in there, put the replays in there still and all of that too. So do your thing. But that's where we're going to be really hosting the boot camp at over there in Networks. I still got to get the live plugins in uh, so that we can go live on there and all of that stuff. So it's still everything is a work in progress, guys. But as you can see, I'm building this stuff out right in front of your faces. You understand? Um but what was I just saying? Yeah, the OMAD. So one meal a day on carnivore is about um, high fats, you understand, moderate protein, no carbs. I said no carbs, not low carbs. It's not a low carb diet. It's no carbs at all. All I eat, pause, is meat, fish, uh, poultry, that type of stuff. Deer meat, lamb. I'm out here in Panama and it's illegal to hunt deer, which I'm pissed about. I love their meat, venison, if you want to call it that, banado in Spanish. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I can still eat lamb out here, bison, uh, beef, fish, a whole bunch of stuff like that. This morning I had a gigantic bowl of eggs mixed with ground beef. And what was that? Uh, trucha. Trucha. I think that's trout. I think that was trout. Yeah, something like that. Boom. Uh, but yeah, so and you lose weight rapidly and because it's the most natural way that we were eating back in the day. Like we didn't have boxes or bags of crap, processed crap uh, out here. And we didn't eat fruit uh, because veg we didn't eat fruit year round because it was no refrigerators. You understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> it was no such thing. It was no refrigerators and we had four seasons and all of that. So we ate fruit seasonally, maybe like two or three uh, months out the year, depending on what uh, what uh, country we were living in. And then the rest of that, we were just eating meat. Meat is the only thing that's available year round. So that's how I know that our most natural animalistic diet, our base diet was meat. So I eat the carnivore diet when I am uh, trying to be my most healthy and everything. But anyway, that's off topic. I just wanted y'all to know a little bit something, something uh, about what we do. Uh, Gary says, sing it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so if y'all have anything y'all want to ask me, y'all can forward it in an email. You can uh, message on Facebook 
or you can text the 314-500-5528 number. And if it's extremely important, it will be forwarded uh, to me immediately, or I'll just see it when I log in later. And then I'll talk to you and address it uh, either through private email or on another live stream or something like that, guys. Okay, so once again, the IG tool is still being worked on. These things don't happen overnight when you're building something, and especially if you're putting your own branding and all of that extra stuff. So I'm trying to make sure everything is right for you guys. So it's going to be sent out to you guys who had a trouble with it uh, <laughs> being in Spanish when you down the wires in Spanish on y'all side. But yeah, I'm, I'm having all of that fixed. So just be patient and bear with me. Uh, um, I just want you guys to know that I appreciate you guys uh, giving me your time. I love you guys and all of that. And just make sure you guys continue to rock with me and definitely stay here throughout the boot camp February 20th. And uh, hey, make some moves if you can. But the Bible says not to put yourself in a bad position. So if it's going to put you in a bad position to make a move, you know what I'm saying? Then just wait to the next boot camp, but don't make excuses. If you can make a move, this is detrimental for your your uh your your business journey. You understand? Like this I, it's never been anything that I ran into like this. It just haven't been. You understand? So I I like to create things that I wish was around when I needed a lot of help. So that that's why I research and I ain't seen nothing like this. What we what we got planned for February 20th. And I'm not just trying to hype you up. All right. Um, Gary said, I still tried on the other day. It's still in Spanish. <laughs> All right. I got y'all, man. But remember, <clears throat> it is something called Google Trans Google Translate. So you can still work it, man. If you got it downloaded and the only thing that the problem is, is that it's in Spanish. Just Google Google Translate the prop, props and you can get them all running. You know, might even gain the skill of learning Spanish. Right. <laughs> But, you know, if not, if you don't want to do that, it's OK. I understand. Uh, you know, we working on the uh, the new version, the new version. All right. So when you download the new version, <clears throat> it won't be in Spanish. I promise. OK. All right. Love you guys. Hit me up if you need anything.